Um, and this morning, I'm excited to introduce some also members of our church, Jason and Cheryl Gress. They have a ministry to the gaming uh, community called Christ Centered Gamers, and they're going to talk about that this morning. Thank you. Hello. Hey, thank you and for having us, and uh, thank you for supporting our ministry. And good morning. <laughs> okay, so um, we've been here, I think it's in 2017, last uh, time we spoke in front of you guys, and uh, a lot has changed in the video game industry. Uh, the pandemic probably had a big impact on it. Uh, as I say, 75% of U.S. households now have at least one gamer in them. And um, if you've been playing Wordle recently, you're probably one of them. Um, there are 2.7 billion gamers worldwide, and the industry is valued at 1.5, sorry, 159.3 billion, and that's in 2020. It's probably only gone up. And you know, anytime there's a big blockbuster movie, there's a video game to follow behind it to, to ride on that tailwinds there. Uh, so there's all kinds of video games that review, uh, we review. Uh, there's like a short list, and there's a lot of things inside each of those different categories. You know, when it comes to simulators, you have police simulators, doctor simulators, even lawn mowing simulators. It's out there. So, and then. Um, I know a lot of people think, you know, video games are, are bad, but there, there's good ones out there. It's like any kind of media, whether you, you read a book, you watch a movie, you listen to music, there's edifying stuff, and then there's not so good stuff that you probably shouldn't be doing. So, uh, so the same thing applies to video games. And uh, we've been reviewing them since uh, 2000. And um, we look at a lot of the moral content in video games. So like we'll point out if there's violence, if there's language, uh, you know, using the Lord's name in vain, if there's sexual content, occult supernatural and cultural moral ethical issues, like if there's drinking, drug use, or gambling in games, we'll point that out. And um, we, our reviews have two scores, so we give us a score for the game aspect and we give a score for the moral aspect. And from the game aspect, uh, we look at like, you know, how fun is the game? And like, how, how long is the game? So, you know, you can get like a really good value. So maybe for a 40 or $50 game, you can get like, you know, 50 hours or more of entertainment out of that. You know, if you, if you watch, you know, pay $10 to go see a movie, you only get like two. So it could be a good value, but sometimes you pay, you know, $20 for a game that's only like, you know, 30 minutes long. It's like, hey. So um, we look at the, the graphics, you know, how good the visuals are. Um, on there, and uh, you know, some of the games are so detailed, like you can see the pores in the, in the character skin. It's, it's crazy, realistic. Uh, the sound and voice acting, is, background music is another thing that we take in consideration, as, as well as stability. If you're running on a computer, having a game that crashes on you every 20 minutes is not so fun. And then uh, the controls, uh, you know, how, are they complicated? You know, I have like maybe a five button mouse, he's got like a 20 button mouse. I like things simple. So if there's a game that you have to like spend a half hour to learn the controls, I, uh, I don't know. So um, not much has changed in the gameplay aspect. You know, things get, you know, flashier, but um, there are some disturbing trends on, on the moral aspect. Uh, I've noticed a lot of video games lately have uh, homosexual uh, characters or transgender characters or non-binary characters. And, and one of the games, you know, a lot of the games, the first thing you do is you make a character. And instead of choosing to be as a male or female, you get to choose your body type. So um, I think if I was going to do a swimming game, I would go with the male body type these days. Um, <laughs> yeah, fine. I made it better. So why is this important? Okay, so, yeah. No, I, I just wanted to point out also that a recent game that I reviewed um, actually had a, a non-binary character give you a speech about why their body type didn't matter. So these ideas are, are being embedded in, in all media, but gaming is, well, I wouldn't say in particular, but all of them, and gaming is no exception. So why is this a problem? I mean, the, the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that these ideas uh, counter to the biblical narrative of God making male and female and his design for sex is being embedded in our culture in such a way that one in five Gen Z adults say they're LGBTQ. One in five. I don't think I can emphasize enough how serious 
and how effective Satan has been in corrupting our society today. And you'd be surprised the percentages. It's actually uh, bi bisexual is the most popular. And under that is not gay and lesbian, it's transgender. Think about it. So what are we doing about it? Well, uh, unfortunately, we're not able to single-handedly you know, change the entire industry by ourselves. But what we are doing is offering a place for people to, uh, who are struggling with same-sex attraction and gender identity to have a place to talk about it from a biblical perspective. And we also engage with other Christians and non-Christians in our, in our, on, our, on our community. Um, <clears throat> we have wor helped others work through their attraction issues to choose Christ's way of doing things. Um, it has been effective in that regard. Um, we also have thought-provoking conversations regarding faith, world trends, politics, anime, movies, games, anything that, that people like to spend time with entertainment. But also our freedom of speech is in danger. Um, so uh, Amazon recently suspended and thankfully reinstated, not long after we started or put the slide deck together, um, our ability to use their payment processing on our merchandise store. Um, and another thing that's probably perhaps more important to our day-to-day is, is, is Discord is our online chat platform that a majority of our ministry occurs on. Uh, this is kind of like, it's an online uh, gaming-centered chat platform. It's real-time. It's real-time, right. And it has about 150 plus million users. It's very, very popular. Um, and we, because we're a Discord partner, um, we actually show up in the search results. So if you search for Christ or Gamer, we actually show up as an available server, which is kind of a bit of an honor in a sense. Right, and we show up for that, which is great. Um, but that we're in danger of losing that, or even losing the server entirely, because they're changing their platform rules for wrong think. Um, 1984 is not an instruction manual. Anyway, so um, so we have to now. We're going to keep doing this as long as we can, but we're not going to compromise what we allow people to say. Uh, so so we have to investigate other platforms, or or even host our own if that's what it takes, uh, so that you know we can continue to say what's true. Um, so here's a few testimonies about members of our uh, community, mostly on the Discord server, like I was saying before. Um, so here's a uh, random IT guy. Uh, he, he basically he says, uh, I don't want to read the whole thing, but he just basically says that uh, he really appreciates the prayer request section and the fact that people are very helpful when asking questions about a variety of subjects from technological to spiritual. Uh, there's a lot of genuine care, and we appreciate that. He said nice things about us. Um, here's a non-Christian user that uh, has, has been fairly, has been, been act actually on the server for a couple of years now at least. Um, and he says, I met very fun, interesting people here and learned many things about the Christian religion. Um, everyone is respectful and kind, especially while well, he name dropped me, thanks. Um, <laughs> this server does very well at uniting both the religion and the love of gaming for all to come and enjoy. A christ Gamer Gamers is a safe and haven for all and I hope to see the server grow in the future, which is very kind words. And this is one of our reviewers. So we have um, staff reviewers and also a lot of volunteer reviewers. Um, as long as they conform to our standards, you know, we, we'd be happy to, to accept reviews. And uh, this is from a gentleman who joined us last year uh, as a volunteer reviewer. He said, um, I joined the Discord server and became a reviewer. And I'm not kidding when I say this is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I have made many friends and members of this great community and grown as a Christian. I'm writing reviews and helping others decide what games are for them. It gives me satisfaction like nothing else. So that's very encouraging for us, and uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting. If you'd like more uh, testimonies, we have lots of them that we can show you in the, in the gym afterwards. All right, so um, just wrapping up, there's different ways if you guys want to help our ministry. Uh, we gladly accept prayer. It's free. <laughs> and uh, if you want to follow us, if you're on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, give us a follow, check us out, and, you know, leave us a comment. Um, you know, appreciate the uh, support and encouragement. Uh, we're looking for reviewers every, uh, always. We have over 170 games to review and uh, that, are, that are waiting to be reviewed. Uh, we try to post something on the site every day, so there's no shortage of, of work. The laborers are few. Um, so we also we can gladly accept any uh, support on Patreon, or if you, want, if you use Twitch, you can subscribe to us on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, you can do that for free. Um, and donations, if you are willing, are tax deductible since we're a 501c3. So thank you guys for uh, listening and, and for all the prayers and support. God bless. Well, thank you.
Jason and Cheryl, for your vital ministry to people that need a witness. And uh, this is uh, important because many of these people will never darken the door, and you may be the only person who gives a credible witness. So thank you for what you're doing.